Today, the Supreme Court decided a case called the Utility Air Regulatory Group uh, versus the Federal Environmental Protection Agency. The people bringing the suit, uh, the plaintiffs, uh, are a large number of governments, uh, states, uh, local governments, uh, industries of all types uh, who are opposed to uh, some environmental protection agency regulations uh, to try to regulate greenhouse gas emissions. Now, the Clean Air Act really hasn't been changed since 1970. So what has happened? Well, uh, two important things have happened. Um, in 2007, the Supreme Court decided a, a case, uh, the name is Massachusetts, against the Federal Environmental Protection Agency. Um, and the theory of the lawsuit was that uh, greenhouse gas emissions are a pollutant, and that they were uh, specifically said uh, that the uh, federal EPA uh, has to regulate uh, the emission of these uh, uh, greenhouse gases from uh, automobiles, from tailpipes. The Supreme Court agreed uh, with Massachusetts and the New England states um, and uh, uh, said that uh, the greenhouse gas emissions could be uh, a pollutant. Um, the second important thing that has happened um, is that the Obama administration is stymied by uh, congressional inaction. And so over the last three or four years, uh, the administration has decided to use the full extent of whatever executive power it has to go ahead and regulate uh, greenhouse gas emissions, uh, regardless of Congress's inaction. So uh, this case uh, was a challenge to a very important uh, Obama administration uh, initiative. Um, and uh, for the most part, uh, the Supreme Court agreed with those opposing what EPA uh, is doing um, and invalidated uh, a good part of the uh, regulations that the Obama administration, uh, EPA, uh, had enacted. So what was the lawsuit uh, actually about? Um, what the federal EPA did was to list uh, all the greenhouse gases as one pollutant. Uh, and they said, therefore, we're going to regulate them. Uh, and they said, if we're going to regulate cars, uh, we can then go ahead uh, under the statute and regulate other sources of greenhouse gas emissions. Here they ran into a real problem because the Clean Air Act is written uh, very specifically, and it says that any source of pollution uh, that emits over 250 tons of uh, pollutant per year um, has to get a permit uh, from uh, uh, either the EPA or the states, which actually administer uh, the act. Now, for a lot of pollutants, uh, that's a pretty significant amount of uh, uh, pollution. When it comes to something like carbon uh, dioxide, uh, thousands and thousands of sources uh, of emission uh, emit over uh, 250 tons of, of carbon dioxide a year. It's nothing. It's nothing. So EPA had this huge dilemma. Um, they realized uh, what a political mess would, it would be to start, start regulating. Uh, at one point in the case, somebody said something like 80,000 sources of uh, uh, pollution. So the federal EPA said, OK, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're not going to regulate every source that emits 250 tons. We're going to start regulating at 100,000 tons. So that cut way back on the sources that were going to be regulated um, and basically went after bigger sources, but not just factories and power plants, but, but some other uh, sources as well. Uh, the challengers said uh, the EPA doesn't have the discretion to change the law. The law says 
uh, you regulate uh, every source that's uh, over 250 tons a year, you can't uh, just rewrite that to say, no, we're changing it to, to 100,000 tons uh, a year. Um, and so that's what a majority of the Supreme Court held uh, in the decision. It was a 5-4 uh, decision. Um, it said that EPA uh, can't uh, do that. Um, and uh, the, the majority emphasized, uh, I think, a very important uh, point. Um, and that was simply that uh, this is really a problem for Congress uh, to solve. Um, the act has to be adjusted to, to global uh, climate change. Um, and if it's not adjusted, uh, there are limits to what uh, uh, the federal government can do uh, just through the executive, what, what the Environmental Protection Agency uh, can, uh, can do. Uh, the court did hand the uh, uh, federal government one victory. Another part of the regulations uh, involve new sources of pollution. Now, there are not too many of those being built these days, uh, but when they are built, uh, the Clean Air Act requires uh, that the pollution technology uh, be very state of the art, uh, very, very modern. Um, and uh, that's a very important uh, regulatory program. What the court said is if a new source of pollution is going to emit uh, the original pollutants, uh, uh, carbon dioxide, particulates, and so forth, um, the EPA does have the power to also uh, regulate greenhouse gas emissions. Um, so that's a win for the administration. Uh, the EPA now has to go back uh, to the drawing board and figure out what uh, authority they actually have uh, to, to regulate existing sources uh, of pollution.